here is Lynn. What? She is a crystallized rat. The metamancers call her strength mid, which is kinda true if all you do is drool over non-lethalized water gun closeless chen all day, but making use of Lin's kit is way more rewarding than raising a child for 24 years and watching them grow into a semi-decent functioning member of society. What does she do? Well, let's find out. I'm kinda busy right now. We could watch the new movie at the sleepover on Friday. Yeah, sometime after Truth or Dare and reading scary Slenderman stories on the internet at 3am is perfect. What about you, Lynn? You wanna join the sleepover? You have to ask your dad? Yeah, don't worry about it, I understand. Lynn is a phalanx caster, meaning she has crazy amounts of defense and arch resistance off skill, but doesn't do basic attacks. Her skill attacks will hit everything in her range, and before you conjure up images of beeswax doing horn care for Carnelian, what makes Lynn different from the rest of the phalanx casters is that her skills and talents actually synergize with her trait. Unlike Carnelian's poopy talent that just heals her when she activates her skill, or mince reduced taunt level on skill, Lynn's kit revolves around her being a phalanx caster. Her first talent is actually very unique. She becomes the first operator with the ability to ask for consent when taking damage. You see, Lynn is a very picky woman and doesn't like coming in contact with any damage source that's 200 or below, and that's after her very tanky defense and arts resistance stats. She can straight up reject most physical ranged enemy attacks with a mist on poison maps, and as a gentleman should, the damage goes away. Because it would be a crime otherwise to do so. If an attack penetrates her, aka it deals more than 200 damage, she explodes and hits and stuns everything in her range. The attack that hit her will deal 200 damage less, and Lin becomes vulnerable to damage for the next 8 seconds before her shield comes up again. This talent, combined with Lin's crack addict defense and arts resistance trait, gives her unmatched survivability among phalanx casters with the only downside that she doesn't have any form of sustain like Cornelian or Beeswax. Lin's second talent gives her a coin flip's chance to get 1 SP when she receives damage from an enemy. There are two reasons why this talent is goaded, and the first one is obviously because it synergizes with her crystal barrier talent. You can have Lin be the aggro of ranged attention and not get punished for it, but you can also do the same thing with another phalanx caster, so Lin's not really special in that regard. What makes the difference between Lin and Beeswax getting hit is that Lin secretly wants to be hit, while the other phalanx casters don't really care either way. You're rewarded for having Lin in a spot where she takes damage so she can get excited. You know what? I think that's enough innuendos for one video. Put Lin in a spot where a lot of enemies will do meaningless damage to her, which is a pretty easy tile to find, and bam, infinite skill cycling stocks. Oh, the new Celtid anime episode dropped? Is it about the aftermath of the one where she fights Patriot to the death but they suddenly overcome their differences with the power of friendship? When do you want to watch it? Yeah, tomorrow's perfect. Are you down to come with us, Lin? You have to ask your dad? Yeah, don't worry about it, I understand. Lin's first skill, unlike my content creation career, is actually decently relevant compared to a lot of other 6 star first skills. It increases her attack interval by 1 second, increases her attack, and makes her attacks inflict sluggish for a second. If you're looking for insane damage, this isn't it. I mean, Lin in general isn't it in the first place, but she will not be cranking 90s with the skill. It's for consistent damage, and if you think the damage you're seeing on screen is a lot like sex for the first time, confusing and underwhelming, for reference I get my information from third party sources, you'd be right. The main benefit of Lin here isn't necessarily her big fat damage, but the fact that you can slap her down in a crowded area and not worry about her getting gunned down in the streets of Chicago is a pretty decent pro. Even though her attacks aren't anything flashy, it's just enough to do something meaningful Meaningful, and they're also true AoE with a very unique range, letting her do multi-laning by herself. Lin's second skill reduces her taunt and increases her attack speed. For all the allies in her range, they become Lin's children and inherit that crystal barrier talent that negates all damage 200 and below. This skill is good for... Not much. You really only want it if you want to give everyone her shield talent, which 
isn't often surprisingly. In these showcase stages it looks usable, don't get me wrong, but that's mainly because I forced this to happen. I looked it up on ArcRec and there's literally only 5 records with this skill. Three of them are E1 level 1, meaning they're practically forced to use this skill anyways. The other two records are piss easy stages, so they might as well not exist. It's a usable skill, don't get me wrong, but it's hard to find a reasonable case for it. The damage with the skill is decent, but nothing to comb yourself over with. Lin's third skill massively increases her attack and expands her attack range. It increases the crystal barrier damage threshold to 600 damage, which is a lot, but remember that Lin loses defense and arch resistance when you activate her skill. If you're a regular watcher of the esteemed Yi Arc Knights, you would know that Lin loses her physical tankiness a little, but soaks arts damage way better when her S3 is active. I didn't mention the numbers in that video, so let me just throw them at you right now. At max level in Trust, Lin can tank slightly over a thousand physical damage off skill, but only 800 on skill. For Arts, she's only able to take 300 off skill, but that increases to 700 on skill. While she does lose that physical damage tankiness a little, trading it for more Arts damage tankiness is a pretty good trade because ranged enemies usually don't have more than 800 physical attack anyways. If she kills an enemy, the crystal barrier will immediately shatter and regenerate. In the previous video, I said her DPS with the skill was nothing to write home about, but the fact that she can constantly get last hits for that barrier to shatter and refresh means she'll be doing a lot more damage than you think. With that expanded range, Lin can put in a lot of work for wave clearing both elites and peons. You can also manually deactivate the skill in case that uptime is too long for your liking, letting her cycle extremely easily for the next incoming wave. Lin's mod that came with chapter 11 increases her tankiness trade off skill and allows some of that defense and arts res boost to carry over on skill. What this means for her third skill is that now she she can tank 1200 physical damage, skill activated or not. Which like, yeah, she's honestly invincible against physical damage at this point. You know these drones that everyone keeps molding over? Yeah, they literally can't do anything against her now. As for arts damage, it only marginally boosts her res during downtimes, but now instead of being able to negate 700 arts damage during her uptime, it's up to 800. This is just a trait by the way. The talent upgrades heavily boost her SP regeneration talent from a 50% chance to 75% and doubling that SP gained. This mod just made Lin extremely good at what she already does, and even though she isn't instant wiping maps with a billion damage at once, it's pretty rewarding to make her work. Putting masteries on Lin S3 should be enough. If you're wondering why my Lin is M6, when she came out on CN I had no idea what the hell I was doing and defaulted to M6 because I thought she was quirky and different. And while my base intuition was right, like a crypto bro getting NFT scammed, my investment was a mistake. Learn from me and just do S3 M3 and Mod 3 when that comes out. Anyways, that's it for this video, goodbye. Hey guys, Fruits here. We got pizza, but no pineapple because I almost had a civil case against me the last time I tried that. Half of it is cheese, in case you want any, Lin. Not trying to enforce stereotypes or anything. You have to ask your... dad? What? For pizza?